All right, we're getting buckets here on set. We got Jimmy Butler here. And before we get to All Star, going into the first half into the break, how good is it to get a win like you did against a team you could end up facing down the road in the playoffs? Feel, it feels great to, to win any game in this league, home and away. But uh, definitely I like the, the way we ended the yeah. momentum we had going into the break. Now we just got to pick it up after the break. Jimmy, I'm wondering, uh, how's the elbow? Did you ice it down a little bit? <laughs> I've, uh, I've heard <laughs> that question about I'm just saying, old times. I want to make morning. sure iced it down. Yeah. It's good to go. Yeah, you know, with a hard foul like that, you definitely yeah, yeah, got to take yeah. care of your body. So I did a lot of treatment for that. Hard, Excellent. hard foul. That, that was, you consider that a hard foul? It's a foul. It was a foul. <laughs> hard or not, it was Here a we foul. go. I agree. No, I, I want to ask you about, you know, we, we understand and know about the work that you're doing on the court. I think what you're doing in Chicago and, and partnering up with Chance, uh, you know, it's really important in the community, particularly at this time. So talk to people about what you and he have planned and, and what y'all trying to do in the community to make Chicago better. Uh, we actually have a, a lot point. We just we realize how much hope that Chicago needs and, and for somebody like him and what he's doing right now, winning Grammys and his face is everywhere. And along with mine around that city, we, we have the power to change so many things if we act upon it and, and not just talk about it. Be there for, for the kids and, and for the youth, which we, we both um, were those kids at one point in time yeah. growing up. Him in Chicago, me yeah. down in, in, in Texas. But the way that those kids look up to us and follow yeah. what we do, like that, that ultimately brings a smile to both of our faces. Yeah. Well, well, his face and your face might be everywhere, but his faith is at the forefront. So I think that that's where that all begins. And to Isaiah's point, it's awesome what you're doing there, Jimmy. So congratulations on that on top of, of being an all-star. You made some interesting comments about Fred Hoiberg. I think it's pretty awesome, too, that you have this understanding about maybe just how difficult this season has been for your coach. <laughs> Injuries, personnel, lots of questions, you know, team meetings in and out. This is a time for you to step away and reflect on that. For Fred, if you were to get inside his head while he's taking this break, what is it that you're hoping when you guys return and reconvene about what the second half is going to be about for you guys? If, if I'm inside of Fred's head, I'm just <laughs> wanting to get away from everything that's going on every day. I think that's for everybody. Um, I think, you know, we, we had a lot of ups and downs, bumps and bruises along the way. Right. But um, I think it was for the better. To tell you the truth, I think, I think you learn from it. I don't think anything's wrong with a little confrontation and a little arguing and all that. Good stuff. I think it's, it's good. It builds character and it, it, bring, it brings you more together. And I think that's, that's what that is. Now when we come out in the second half of the season, we need, to, we need to hold that above everything else. You know, toughest word sometimes to succeed in sports, consistency. Because your team at times has looked as good as anybody and other times not so much. How do you get there? How do you get from where you are to a point where you feel like you're consistent every day? Play every single game the exact same way. Do what we're supposed to do in every game. The, the things that you know you can control. Rebounding, getting back in transition, um, defending, things like that, which is what we talk about. We do it. <laughs> on, on certain nights, and yeah. then on some nights we just don't. Why? I don't have the answer for that one. Well, that, that communication and that trust that, that all of you are building by going through these difficult times and then working through it, you know, that, that definitely will help you as the season continues to progress. Um, I'm, I'm going to go a different direction, and, you know, I'm not going to ask you so many basketball questions. I'm going to ask you what I think. I would want to know what the fans want to know about that fish tank you have in your house that has a boom box and a fish tank. Can you talk about that and why you and, and why is that appealing to you? You got a big giant fish tank with a boom box in it that scares the fish. It doesn't scare the fish. The fish can't even hear it. It's just on the on the outside. But I just I love music. I can't sing. I can't dance. So I got to make people think that I can do that. So you buy a enormous fish tank that plays music. I mean, doesn't that make sense? There you well, go, Bones. But well, now you know how to do, do that. that. Makes but total sense. So, but, so, so the fish are in there. They bumping oh, around. they grooving. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. But you scan the fish. No, they like it. When you see them squirming in the water from one side to the other, you can tell that they like it. No, I think they're running. I'm not running. sure that's what that means. They're they running. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but the running man, you know that dance that they, yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah, that one. Got it. Uh, Jimmy, when you look at being here at All-Star, what's the best part for you? Is it the camaraderie, getting a chance to kind of be around the guys? I think so. And then knowing that all your hard work has is, is paid off, what you've done for the first half of this season, you're here with the best. You're here for a reason. Um, you belong here. 
And I think that's been different for me because a lot of these guys are some, some really good players, and they've been that way for a very, very long time, and they're going to continue to be that way. For me, I wasn't that good. Y'all didn't know about me in my junior college days, probably didn't really know about me at Marquette. But now that I'm here, like it's like a, a sigh of relief, like, man, all of this hard work really is paying off. Well, you well, deserve it, man. Before Thank you me. leave, just one last question. When y'all played play against Dallas, you and Wes Matthews going back and forth, how much of that was about the college days or the NBA right now? <laughs> uh, a lot of it had to do with the, with the college days. Yeah. Um, and I, I love Wes. Uh, he, he did a lot for me um, in college when I first started out in the league. But like I told him, we got the two best Marquette players on, on the Chicago Bulls right now. So I don't want to ever forget that. <laughs> Jimmy, appreciate That's it, man. Cold. Thank you. Appreciate y'all.